very first time I saw Louise's art, I was I was immediately moved. He basically does it from memory. That's what is really quite striking. Kizem, <laughs> to a family of six, both parents and four, and three other siblings. Louisa he always stood out, you know, he was, had a loud personality, but he was very conserved. And the Tana Band, Mdua Band. My family um, did a very good job in that my parents, most importantly, because they might expose them and wasn't his needs. Gramstown Arts Festival, you know, bought me art books when I was still a kid, very young, from a very young age. I mean, I was called an artist before I even knew what that was. Comics, this is time, so we find a replicator like oh, 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 Power Rangers or oh, oh, LED no band. But we draw as well. We draw LED no more glow band. So as no years by ends because we're spending in like this. And I just think it'll be Zanji natural about in the alone. This is one of the way. Yeah. And Colus or Bella classmates. So this was sub A yeah, well, grade one. I drew my classmate, uh, you know, a drawing of Bugs Bunny, and he was going to pay me five rand. And, that, and at the time, five rand was a lot of money, and I was like, "Hey, can get paid just to draw Bugs Bunny." Ha. I sort of dafuda, dafuda uba. There's value into land on the inside, and abanye bantu ba evaluate. Kuto ben ga evaluate yung ayom na yabon ang yabon ay into jam na ko asuyens. But other people were willing to actually give me, and at that time, grade your first grade, someone willing to give me five rand for a drawing of Bugs Bunny. I mean, obviously, taking that into perspective, you know, significant. Do ba lekle wa kule? I was in high school. 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 I to show me work and um, I immediately liked Louisa's work and I said leave them all here. This is uh, this is January early 2010. 
2011. 2011. Mm. 2011. Beginning of 2011. I came here and I left my work here with this lady. I wanted everything. Two artworks of mine. And within a week she had already sold them. That was the next day. You've forgotten. The next day this old lady came in and she was like, I didn't even hang it yet. It was behind something. It was similar. And mm. she said, oh, Oh, I remember the nanny that looked after me in Zimbabwe. <laughs> she had the same caring eyes and I have to have this. Second day, um, that decided, you know what, I'm studying, that's great, but I still have that challenge. I still want to do something with Lomsebens now in Menzayo outside of the classroom. So, Kwati can't know my income offices is as a super strikers is la pick up. So no, that's the bunny sanya and give portfolio yam layo and a drawings is um the higher partner. And I met the guy who was the creative director at the time, Alex Kramer. Uh, and uh, he saw my work and loved it. And, you know the next day I had a job and started illustrating super strikers. I, I remember seeing like his name on the Super Strikers and I was I was so impressed man because the Super Striker in this cool is Bugella like so okay what and then next thing yo he pulled super strikers like shop up I trip out yeah. First thing that ends I want phone phone no no mama hey so obviously none of we are because the local this dream that I had all this time and this thing that my mother and my father told me I would be able to do one day. I did it. You know, so there was that success, that feeling of his success, that feeling of fulfillment. Like, come on, I know. Yeah, yeah, this is what it feels like to, to work hard and then get rewarded for it. Yeah. This is the magic space. So my little studio here at home. My palette, my beloved palette, I've had this palette for probably three years now. So a lot of layers and a lot of layers and a lot of layers go into this stuff. And um, my trusted painting pants, I won't put them on right now, otherwise I might have to kick you out of my studio and start painting, so. Um, I do a lot of work. I do both painting and illustration. So, um, comic book illustration, that coming from Ukwezi, the comic book that I do on my company. A comic book is storytelling in the form of images. This is, this is the uh, second issue of the comic book. I work with a team of creatives, um, some that do the inking, some that do the coloring, some that um, handle the marketing and distribution. All of these guys are, are a huge help to making this comic book a reality. Okay, so um, this is production of Kwezi. Kwezi is our superhero, South African superhero comic book. And basically, um, we're going to be going through the process of creating the comic book. This is Clyde Beach. Um, he is part of the team that makes Kwezi. He is the creative consultant as well as the colorist of Kwezi. What we do is obviously start off with the script. We read the script, it comes in written format. And our job, my job, is to illustrate what I see and interpret whatever I get from the script. There's images, there's a 
ufuman sekba page one in nazi panels as panels is zikela elibali koshobo lokba ukwazba ufunde i panel le yokala ubone umdu esenza i gesture et he say maybe uteta nomnye umdu that image is illustrated it drawishi we ngo umdu lolo leyo and then go phezu kwalo kwelo drawing leyo kukho engoku nento ne ne doctor's speech bubbles which is where the text goes so i would say that e e comic books is sequential art and his job is to take what I've created on paper, scan it in, and obviously he will take then, um, take to Photoshop and then start inking and coloring. When, when we get crazy from Luiso, it's the pencils, as you can see, as he just showed you earlier on. Once Luiso scanned it, it's a little bit light, but you can see it on the screen over there. Those are those exact pencils scanned digitally. Then Luiso will go along, and we'll get some some inks added to it once you've got it inked you got your clean solid lines your your solid black and your your fold lines a coloring is done digitally these days but before it used to be done by hand so people would actually sit there and paint it by hand but now because of the digital era we are able to scan in e drawings and then this color shake windows for no photoshop that's where i come in first first step in the process that i'll add i'll start adding flats to it. So I'll start giving the characters, you know, the, the colors for the get up, um, putting in their skin colors, getting their eyes filled. So you get your, your basic, your basic shape. From that stage, you move on and you start adding effects. So you want to give the characters tones, you want to give them definition and shape. So you start shaping your characters, you start giving it shadows, um, you start thinking about light sources. Something Luisa and myself speak a lot about before we go into the process. What do we want the mood of the environment to look like? How do we want the characters rendered? We start adding to the render, we start adding pin light, little bits of light to show. Um, what the direction is, how how the ambience is affecting the character. And the obviously scene. this is dependent on the story itself from the script. Is it at night? Is, is the scene happening yeah, at absolutely. night or during the day? So obviously all of this stuff is informed from the scripts that we get, um, that, we, that we develop ourselves. Yes. And then obviously that will inform the artwork. Cool about this is that he, the comic book, a 19 year old city dweller, imagine that he's somewhere in Johannesburg um, and he discovers he's got superpowers. Ukwezi's character actually tattooed <laughs> so I'm the crazy apparently. High school, superpowers, So the character also like interprets that and that lifestyle about he wants to make something of himself but like you don't know how much power you hold I was really amazed though like when I saw my name on the newspapers like the father the cartoon I was like yo like it really felt good it felt like I have a lot that I have to do for my own life as the reader, you become the main character. Kubone ka ufunda, ufunda. Sometimes ufunda out loud most. And the inner voice comes in. So when you are reading a comic book, you are reading as if you were that character. You become, you embody that character. That is where again, Goku, the reading aspect yeah, comes in and is very important because it, 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 it assists the reader to, to, to be able to read into the narrative, read into the character itself, you know, from panel to panel, a character might be conversa conversating with somebody, but you will create a character now, you will create a character, you will create a character, 
and that isn't that beautiful isn't that amazing the fact that it's e comic books are urging you to be creative yourself now these guys although they are superheroes but they share a link towards you know our prominent uh, south african cultures it's important to tell our story and proudly so someone who's going to pick up the comic book abone a superhero efananaye ebo etheta i language yakhe esherisha i environment efanane yakhe that will change his life completely because he will associate himself with that initiative in the in the tatayum as an artist is to go to his goal from school to school and try and inspire young artists from a very young age to baboni simba what you can actually do with the talent there ah this guy uno iso zininzi zina anokwa zithetha ngazi ba motivate abantu ngoba akaveza ngafika kulenda kuyo ngimine wane usuka kuti gqedi when I was their age, I used to do this stuff. I used to sit there and draw. You can draw dogs as well. Da, octopus. What's your name, boy? Sandul. Huh? Sandul. Sandul. Cool. Yep, this is good work. strongest all of them but he doesn't know it yet so he still needs to know, know and then understand his powers I can see this is a villain I can already see yeah so this easy. guy is our biggest is our villain you can and he transformed into a hyena yeah bigger you know you see maybe don't you make a movie about about it? yeah 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 we'll probably make a movie one of these days you never know maybe next year maybe the other year but i don't know who do you think should act out crazy crazy you no i can't act you, guys you can He's inspiring himself, you know. I mean, as I say, I'm inspired by his example. And uh, there's no arrogance. You know, it's just um, the pure ability and his humility and his gentle conduct. He's a very he's a gentleman, you know. That's what I like about him. I'm still learning there's a lot of stuff. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. But it's only like There's a lot of stuff that I can't do yet. But you know you learn, you know how to draw cars for instance. Because sometimes you have to put a car in your comic book. How do you draw a car doing a donut and make it look like it's doing a donut? Yeah. I can do it. You know? You know? Cuz sometimes cuz your mind cuz when you're an artist your mind keeps taking pictures of whatever you see, right? You take pictures. Mm. That's why you call it the photographic you, you memory. Use, you use and the you, thing. You use the memory that you have and you put it on the paper. I don't know how it happens, but I'm sure you guys, it happens the same for you, right? Yes. Yeah. So you have to make sure that you're feeding your mind all the time, reading um, comic books, reading books, you know, art books, you know. Go to the library. You guys have a library around here? Yes. Go to the library. Last term, we just finished one comic book, Choices. The comic book is called Choices. Why it's called Choices? Because we wanted to educate the kids in, the, in our community about the, the, the choices they make in life. Because here in our community, kids in our community, the kids they, they are faced with, with, with lots of problems, whereby gangsterism, drug abuse, and maybe maybe verbal or, or physical abuse is, is one of the big choices. We just want them to speak up and, 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 and speak up for themselves and, 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 and to make the, the right choice. I was a part of a bullying, but a small child being bullied by tools. 
Let's put color on it and start using also the computer because I, I, I color on the computer, yeah? On Photoshop. So check those out and then you can make a comic book that looks like marble or something. I'll show you what I'm I'm gonna leave you with more comic books because I think you guys need to Oh. Practice! Quizzy! Quizzy! Hi! Hey! What a success, my gang! Hey, guys! Seriously, I can't deny the mother and Ubuana Abanduana, you know? Young people, they appreciate how Msibin's a win's lay. Yeah, nah, himself, I got, I got legs, I got, I got, I got shy, you know, what you say in English, I got, he doesn't rest on his laurels. Currently, Okwez is Susano issue number three. This is the third issue of the story. And uh, it's distributed both in Cape Town, Nasa Johannesburg. And we're definitely moving towards distributing a comic book Lena um, countrywide. The Nair exhibition, solo exhibition, is not that to the citizens in my career. My parents go, go, Daba awarded the opportunity to work as a exhibitor in a group exhibition in New York in 2014. Um, but the ones that stand out were is if man say ba denza umsebenzi ozo ba nensebenzo nga pa kwalendo dienz leyom na. I've seen Luiso's work just improve. I, I didn't even know that it could get better when I was so impressed in the beginning. But I've seen a versatility of subject matter. Uh, I've seen some of the anim animation quality coming in in a very unique way. Um, his technique definitely is just getting better and better. I'm just proud of him. The sky's the limit. He works, he works hard. Loiso has started something else when it comes to African art. Like he's taken the the, the richness of our culture. So I see him very far because even now, like his his artwork is so futuristic that people don't get it. Like people are still taking time but like With the dreams that I have for Ukwezi and a lot of other projects that under Uloisum Kize Art I'll be able to produce, I want to, to, to make sure that we use the best talent that is South Africa. I'm not the only artist in South Africa who's got a, a talent, Nyani. There's a lot of people out there, South Africans, young South Africans, that have a talent, Mani, in Gaapa and it will be irresponsibility yam at some point in order to give those opportunities to those artists because at some point now I was given the opportunity. Yeah.